What's going on YouTube for us here? Hope you guys are doing well. Call of Duty has no urgency. When it comes to making changes or updates or improvements to this franchise, they are so steadfast on just allowing things to be status quo. If something is broken, keep it broken. And that's super problematic. That is something that is absolutely plaguing this franchise right now. Because again, I've said it before, Call of Duty isn't trying to sell an experience anymore. They're selling a medium for microtransactions. They don't really care if you have fun playing Call of Duty or not. All that matters to them is that it's optimized so that they can make as much money as humanly possible. And they're doing a really good job of it. They're actually doing a really good job of making money. Unfortunately, they're not delivering on the experience side of things. And what sparked this in my mind was this tweet from Call of Duty Updates, saying that they finally fixed the akimbo unlocking on the 9mm Damon. This gun came out in Season 5 Reloaded of MW2. We're talking over a week for them to fix a problem in their code on something that they just released. It's a brand new weapon, and you couldn't even have it working properly at launch. This isn't just a quality problem. This is an urgency problem. This should have been fixed day one of the release. As soon as people were trying to unlock a Kimbo, it should have been a fix that was immediate. It should have been at the top of their list. But unfortunately, because Call of Duty doesn't really seem to care about the experience they're giving their consumers at this point in time and their community, they let it kind of fall onto the back burner for the last several months, or pardon me, days. And that's just not acceptable. And something that took them several months to fix, the UAV problem, where if you had a silencer, you'd still show up on enemy UAVs if you shot your gun, which is completely counterintuitive and actually kind of hilarious because they wouldn't allow red dots to be on minimaps, but they allowed you to be seen on minimaps if there was a UAV and you had a silencer. And it wasn't until it was pointed out to Treyarch, not the main developer of this game, that it was finally fixed. It's an absolute crock of garbage that that's what we had to live through. And then that, on top of the fact that there was also game-breaking bugs from the get-go. Look at the search and destroy camera issue, if you were spectating. It's still not fixed. It's still a problem in this game. And it was something that was showcased during Call of Duty League, and they did nothing about it. They just were like, ah, whatever, who cares? And that's the way they approach this franchise now. They don't care. They don't have the urgency to try to change things. It feels reminiscent of the old MW2 days, when there was a care patch glitch and a javelin glitch that were just ravaging themselves through the game, and it took them months to fix these problems. They got fixed eventually, but it took far too long. And then guess what? Call of Duty corrected. And with Black Ops 1, we had one of the best developer-supported games we have ever seen. And unfortunately, what has happened over time is that developer intervention, that developer support has slowly been dropping off until now we have a mess like this where it takes nine days to fix a single, uh, simple bug within their code. It's unacceptable. That coupling with the fact that we know Sledgehammer Games isn't any better. How can you trust Modern Warfare 3 to be this banger of a game when the track record from the developer that is making it is awful? Okay, yes, they overhauled World War II, made it a really good game, but it took them months to overhaul it. It took them months to fix issues in that game. And it took them weeks to fix the fire issue in Call of Duty Vanguard that made their game completely unplayable. Again, I reiterate, they are not worried about selling the experience anymore. They are more concerned about selling you the medium for microtransactions. That's what matters to them. Allow people to step into our microtransaction-filled game instead of selling them a game that's going to make them happy. This is a problem in sports franchise games, and it's a problem in Call of Duty right now. There's just absolutely zero urgency. And until the community starts to actually stand up and just not buy these games and not support the game on a microtransaction level, we're going to have to deal with this. We have to stop supporting mediocrity. That's the lesson here. If you want things to change, you stop supporting it. This isn't a hard concept. Just look at the game that we have right now and think to yourself if it is good enough. The answer is no. Modern Warfare 2 is a subpar Call of Duty game. It is a subpar arena shooter game. It is a subpar experience. 
But this is an experience you've told Activision and Infinity Ward that you're okay with because you consistently support their bad habits, their battle passes, their bundles that are overpriced, and you say it's all okay. That's the problem. The people that want real change, people like myself and many of you in this community that watch these videos on a regular basis, you guys want the change. The problem is we're such a small minority of this player base. And what we need to do is we need to start spreading the message more. Saying, hey, if you want Call of Duty to be better, if you want change, if you want this franchise to be the best it can be, stop supporting it on a monetary level. Yeah, sure, buy the game, whatever, who cares? But when it comes to the microtransactions, the things that feed the beast, which isn't everyday sales, it is the microtransaction sales that feed Call of Duty at this point in time, stop giving into it. Stop supporting it. Because it's not going to get better while you do so. That's the track record we've been shown over the last several years, where none of this money is getting reinvested into the experience, into the game, into making it more community-driven. It is all about getting these shareholders more money so they can buy more houses, so they can hoard more wealth. That's all that matters at this point in time. That's what they're more concerned about. That's where Call of Duty is at. It is a franchise that is absolutely plagued by greed, that does not care about selling you the best game they can do. It's not about unlocking the most creative that their team can be. It is about selling you as many microtransactions as possible. We're not in the business of selling the experience anymore. We're not in the business of innovation or evolution. We are in the business of microtransactions and bundles being shoved down your throat at every single turn. I'm at the point now with Call of Duty, if they release the best license ever, I'm still not going to support it because I think it goes against my morals of what they've done to this franchise. It is unacceptable to allow things to deteriorate in the way they've allowed Call of Duty to deteriorate. The quality of this franchise has completely gone in the dumps ever since 2019. And yes, I'm saying Modern Warfare 2019 is a bad game because it is. And that was when all this greed really kicked it up a notch. When bundles became the forefront of their monetization plan. Once it shifted away from supply drops to this new system, we're all doomed. Call of Duty was doomed. And this is the aftermath that we have to deal with. So if you're one of those people right now that's holding out hope that MW3 will just change it all and it'll be so much better, think again. It's not getting any better. If anything, it's only going to get worse. But it can get better. The more we speak out, the more that we get on their case, the more that we provide constructive criticism back to the developers, that's how change can be made. And change can also be made by not playing the game. So those are our two options. Criticism and boycotts. That's where we're at with Call of Duty. And until we see real change, those are the only options we got. So I thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you have any thoughts on it, please leave them down below in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.